Hey guys, in this video, I'm going to share with you three hacks that you can use when building websites with Go High Level to make them look a lot better. And these three hacks I'm going to be going over in this video are extremely simple to implement. And a lot of people who build websites with Go High Level aren't doing these things. So instead of just going inside of Go High Level, choosing a website template, adding the business's logo to it, adding some text, adding some images, and that's pretty much it. These three tricks I'm going to show you will make your website a thousand times better. And it's a complaint that I hear from a lot of people. A lot of people say that, oh, Go High Level's website templates are pretty boring and they're extremely simple. So if you you've ever felt that way in your agency owner or a SaaS business, this video is going to be for you. So go ahead and subscribe to the channel for more videos like this. Now let's not waste any more time. Let's just jump right into it. So guys, now that we're inside of Go High Level to start building out a website, we would just come over here to the sites and then we would come over here to websites and then new website. And then if you want to, we can still choose one of Go High Level's templates just to make this a lot easier for us. So we can already have all the bones all built out. So I'm just going to click right here and then continue. And now you can search for your niche right here. But for this example, let's just choose one of these templates right here. I'm just going to go Go ahead and choose this one now let's just wait for that template to load into our account so now we have our website right here let's just go ahead and edit this home page and i'm going to show you these three hacks so now that we're inside of the website builder the first hack that i want to show you is adding animations to this website so instead of just having this website be all boring and nothing's really popping out or moving we can easily fix that by adding animations so for example let's say that we want to animate this image right here we can just click on it and then go high level actually recently added this tab right here that says animations and go high level will have a couple basic animations that we can choose from so for example if I click right here where it says right, this image is going to animate from the right. And then I can come down here, click on this image, and we can go ahead and animate this image as well. And we can do left, and there you go. And then we can click on this image, go to animations, and then click on right. And just like that, these three photos are going to be animated. So let's just preview this page and see what it looks like. So this is the website. If we scroll down here, as you can see here, there's image one image two, and then image three. So creating animations like this will really make your website pop. But if we take a look right here, Go High Level doesn't really have that many animations that we can choose from because this is a fairly new feature. So if you're looking for more animations, we're going to be using a third party site. So the website that we're going to be using is called animate.style. And right when you come to this site, if you take a look over here on the right side, you're going to see a ton more animations that you can choose from. But in order to do this, we are going to want to add a little code inside of the website builder. And this is going to be extremely simple. So don't worry if we just come down here and we go to this section right here, all you want to do is copy this right here and don't worry you don't have to copy this head because we're going to be adding this to the header of go high level so once you have this copied go back inside your website builder and then over here where it says tracking code if we click on header tracking we're just going to want to paste in that code right here and now we can go ahead click on save now we can just choose where we want to animate so we can just choose this image and then come back over here and now you just want to come over here to where it says basic usage and you just want to copy this right here where it says animate animated once you have that copied go back inside of go high level and since we're going to be animating this image you just want to click on it and then come over here to advanced and then right here where it says custom class you just want to paste that in and then click on enter and now there is one more custom class that we have to add here and this is going to be the animation so if we come back over here and we scroll all the way to the top we can choose what animation that we want so we can just come over here and let's just do this one right here so we're just going to copy this animation and then go back inside of go high level and now we're just going to paste that right here click on enter and now this image right here should receive that animation so let's just go ahead and preview this page and there you go. I don't know if you saw that. I'm just going to refresh this again and just take a look at this image. Once we refresh this page, this image bounced in from the left. So that's pretty much how you can animate your website. And you don't have to just do that to these images right here, but you can pretty much animate whatever you want. So you can animate the text, any buttons, and it's going to be the same exact thing. You just want to come over here to advanced, paste in animate animated, and then you just want to choose an animation that you want and then paste that in right here as well. And just like that, whatever you chose will be animated. And it's as simple as that. Creating simple animations for your website will just make it look a lot better. And it's going to make it look more alive. So that's the first website hack that I wanted to show you. Now let's go on to the second website hack that will make this website look a lot better. So guys, the second hack that I want to show you is adding gradient colors to this website. So for example, if we just come over here and I go to my snapshot vault website, as you can see here, this background color is a gradient color. If this was just a regular purple color, this wouldn't look as good. But with this gradient color, this just makes the website pop even more. So if we go back over here, we can just go ahead and customize this section right here for this example. So instead of just having this blue color right here, we can go ahead and add a gradient color to this. And the way we're going to do this is by using a website called mycolor.space. And then once you're on this site, you just want to come over here to where it says gradient. And now this is where you can create a gradient color for your website. So if you have your exact hex code, you can go ahead and add that right here, or you can just go ahead and eyeball this. So that color on our website was a blue color. I'm just going to come over here and do a bluish color. And then once we're done with that, we can go ahead and choose what direction we want this to be. And once we're done choosing, we can go ahead and see what this looks like by clicking on generate. And just like that, it's going to give us a color and we can play around with this until we get a color that we like. So let's just go ahead and try this one. Click on generate. And now once you have a color that you like, you just want to go back inside of go high level and you just want to come over here to where it says custom CSS. And now you just want to name your color. So I'm just going to click right here and do dot. I'm going to type in blue gradient 
and I'm gonna do space. And then what you wanna do is add a barcode and then you can click on space. And now we just wanna come back over here and we just wanna copy this code right here. So let's go back to go high level. And now we just wanna paste that code right here. And then we wanna do space again. And then we're gonna finish it with another barcode. And that's pretty much it. You just wanna make sure to remember what you named this color. So we named it blue gradient. Now, if we save this and we click on this column that we wanna edit, we can go over here to advanced. And then you just wanna paste in that name right here. So I'm gonna do blue gradient and then click on enter. And just like that, this background immediately changed to that gradient color. And as you can see here, this looks a lot better than just a regular blue color. So if we delete this, as you can see here, this color looks extremely boring. And with this new gradient color, this just gives the website a lot more character. And with this hack, not only can you do this to backgrounds, you can do this to buttons as well. So if you wanted to add that gradient color to this button, we just click on this, come over here to advanced, and then where it says custom class, we can just paste that in right here. And just like that, this button is going to change that gradient color as well. So you can just continue going through this website and doing that for pretty much wherever you want. So that's going to be the second hack that you can use to make your website look a thousand times better. So the third website hack that I want to show you, instead of just having a regular old image right here as the background, instead of doing that to make this website look a little better, we can add a GIF image to make this a moving background. So the way we can do that is just by using Canva and you can just search for backgrounds right here. So I'm just going to type in blue background and then click on enter. And then if we go over here to the videos, you're going to have a ton of backgrounds that you can choose from. So for this example, let's just do this one and let's just make this look big. So let's stretch this all the way over here. And now you don't want to download this as a video. You're going to want to download this as a GIF file. So if we go over here to share and then we go over here to download, you're going to want to make sure where it says file type, it says GIF, and then we can just go ahead and download this. And now let's just wait for this to download. And I'm going to show you how to add this inside of Go High Level. So now that we have that downloaded, we can just click right here on the background image. And then we can come over here to where it says BG Media and we can click on this icon, click on new upload, and we can just go ahead and upload that image right here. So let's just go ahead and wait for this to load. So here we go. Let's just go ahead and click on this. And just like that, that image is going to be added to the background of this website. So now if we preview this website, this is what the website now looks like. As you can see here, we have that GIF image in the background, and this is really making the website come alive. And Canva has a ton of backgrounds that you can choose from for a whole bunch of different types of colors. And not only can you add a background like one of these right here, we can also add a background of people performing the service that the website offers. So for example, if we come over here, let's just go back, let's just go ahead and create a new website and we can do something like dentist. So let's just choose this one. Let's customize this template. And now let's go back to Canva and let's get rid of this background. And we can come up here and just type in dentist and click on enter. And just like that, we're going to get a ton of videos that we can use on our website. So let's just choose one of these. I'm just going to do this one right here. Let's make this look better and let's download this as a GIF. Now, if we go back to go high level, click on the image and do the same thing. Click on this icon, upload that image. And now let's go ahead and click on this image. And just like that, the background is going to change again from a regular boring background to a moving background. Let's go ahead and preview the site and see what it looks like. So guys, here it is. Here's what it's going to look like. And having a moving image like this just makes the website look a lot better. And like I said before, there's a ton of content that you can use inside of Canva. So guys, that's going to be it for this video. Those are the three top website hacks that you can use with Go High Level to make your website stop being trash and to give them a little more character, have them pop, and overall just have your websites look stunning and incredibly good. Now, I will have down below an exclusive 30-day free trial to Go High Level. So if you guys are new to Go High Level and you don't have an account, go ahead and check out that link. And if you sign up with that link, you're going to get a ton of bonuses as well, including my Snapshot Vault, which is a marketplace of premium snapshots for a whole bunch of different types of niches. So go ahead and check that out down below. And then finally, guys, I would appreciate it if you subscribe to the channel if you got some value from this video. And I'll see you in the next one.